ladies and gentlemen, are impossible small creatures. We are skipping the intro today. I bet you didn't expect that one. Because we officially have a new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer. And I am very excited on this one. I, I know to possibly anyone who's new to my channel or possibly maybe new and has clicked on this video. Because not a lot of views or something. I don't know how the algorithm works. But, uh, yeah, guys, we have a new... FNAF Security Breach trailer, and I want to keep the uh, intro here as quick as I can because I'm really excited to see how this goes, and I imagine uh, this is going to be crazy. Jocko's probably gone crazy over this. What the heck? What the heck was that? What the heck? Ah! And so is a lot of others, <laughs> like MadPad and Game Theory and all that stuff, and uh... So anyways, uh, with this one, I am actually going to not be talking until the end. Kind of like what I did with my uh, Final Space trailer reaction. So yeah, it's mainly to just absorb all the details. Just to get as much information as possible. So that way when we go through the trailer um, after I'm done playing it. Then we will, I'm reacting to it, then we'll figure out all of the small parts, because we all know, we all know Scott Coffin likes to hide those teeny tiny details within the pictures and the text. So it's important to listen to all that stuff. So, without further ado, and no restraint on anything, let us take a look at what is, let us take a look at, I, I almost did a what is thing, I don't know why. Anyways, let us take a look at FNAF Security Breach trailer. State of Play trailer. In the three, a two, a one. When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. Are you ready? Oh. Okay, so this is a 90s thing, I think. I actually saw some of the leaked images, so I, I'm not kind of I'm kind of surprised by these, but uh, at the same time, also not. Gregory, we can get you out of here, you and me together. Taking the lead. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Okay, so it's like a Five Nights at Candy's thing aspect, or vibe I'm getting. We have Except to get you out by morning. You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, then you will. Both of you, burn! This is insane. It's... Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. There is more going on here than you realize. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh man, I am so hyped. I am so hyped. Okay. I don't know how to process all that. That was amazing. I'm. I figured. I've seen enough of these trailers to kind of know all the main stuff that will happen. But that that was good. That was good. Uh. It does kind of remind me of the fan made games, like the Five Nights at Candy series, the spin off, I guess. But um, it has kind of that thing. But it also, I don't know. The style of it kind of reminds me of uh, the way Bendy and the Ink Machine plays, at least with how you uh play as Harry and just roaming through the studio and just seeing everything like that the so um sorry I'm looking back through here again okay so it does okay so first we got the uh 
we got the mask that we saw in uh, FNAF VR, and uh, not really anything new. But the the words they used to describe it, I felt like had something to do with like the crying child, with like which. I'm actually going off kind of the information that MadPat gave us with the uh, with his latest theory from FNAF that uh, his name was Henry. Um, the crying child, or Henry, uh, it seems like they're speaking to him, like his soul almost, because like they're talking about, they're talking about, it seems to me like they're talking about a little kid, and uh, like either that or... The person that's trying to be saved in this game because they they mentioned someone like that again then we got this hallway and I'm guessing the person in the bunny suit that we uh, that we know we know is connected to Afton I think because of Matt Pat so I'm giving a lot of props to Matt Pat and I'm sure a lot of people are too and uh, yeah and then we got the uh, Security woman. I think she's going to be the same. She's going to be similar to you know, possibly going to help us and then kind of a betrayal later, maybe, as the uh, photos from Funko clearly showed us in terms of spoilers. So, yeah, Scott made the right decision to get out on that deal. I, again, I, I have not checked the news in a while, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Feel free to educate me in the comments. But, uh, yeah. But anyways, I guess I think we're also we're still seeing a lot of the um, '90s theme with this. We're still seeing. I'm guessing it takes place in the '90s because now we got we got all these new like hipster and cool designs, which is the, which is stuff they've which is what they tried to do a lot, like a lot of this uh, cool hip, uh, kind of a kind of like that. You you guys know what I mean. Um, I'm kind of digging these new designs too, cause with with all that stuff too, cause like I said, it's in the '90s. It's gotta have, it's gotta be like this uh, weird slash cool vibe to it. And uh, I'm guessing this one is kind of like the. I'm guessing this one is kind of like a kind of like a regular survival horror series, like um, uh, Resident Evil. Or, um, what's, why do I keep forgetting the, Andy and the Big, <laughs> I can't talk anymore, I'm so excited about this, Bendy and the Ink Machine, it gives me these vibes mostly because of the way we seem to move through, move throughout this uh, pizza joint and stuff, and just all that stuff. And it seems like we could do a lot of stuff in here, because, like we said, we got, like, uh, we actually see the animatronics coming after us in the games, and then we see, uh, all these other different places where we could possibly, uh, outrun them in our places. And with, uh, one of them, we literally have, like, to trap them behind a chain fence, and just... All that stuff. It kind of it reminds me a lot of Bendy and the Ink Machine because of that, and just a lot of other survival horror stuff like Resident Evil. So, um, yeah. But anyways, I do not know what this uh, last picture is alluding to. It looks like one of those uh, swamp-like animatronics from the book series, but I don't I don't really remember a lot about the book series because I'm mainly focusing a lot on uh, Fast Bear Frights at the moment. So, yeah. But, uh, I would imagine, I would imagine it's like, now that I look at it, actually, it looks more like a Freddy Krueger kind of thing. I, I mean, just with the nails and like the, just like the claws and on his fingers and stuff. But, um, yeah. So I don't really know. Again, I don't really know a lot about this, but I'm, but still, it's coming out sometime this year. So we got, we got... We got us another thing to cover, boys. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, this is... 
I think this is, uh, I don't really have anything else to say other than all that stuff, because that's basically my breakdown. That's, like, probably one of the first breakdowns you'll ever see if I ever do a trailer. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I guess since that's it, uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you're excited for this as much as I am. And, uh, stay frosty.